I'm gonna make sure I got a good angle for everybody. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's never too late to go back to school. Ain't that the truth? So I got my 10XL stiletto right now. Don't forget, you guys, also, A-Pink is on sale. All A-Pinks here in the U.S. are 30% off. No promo code needed. So when you go check out, add your A-Pink, and you're going to get 30% off your A-Pinks, which is a great deal because we just added 10 new shades to A-Pink, which is a lot. So what I'm doing right now is I am just filing the free edge prior to applying so that way it's easier because I want this nail really sharp because it is the Catwoman fantasy. And then I'm going to take pink bubblegum gel. And I need a new one because this one's running low. If I can do it in my 50s, anyone can. Ain't that the truth? Age ain't nothing but a number. And some of us don't age. I've been 25 for God knows how long. Hundreds of years. Apply that pink bubblegum gel and let us apply the one, two, three, go. Squeeze it on. Beautiful, look at that. I'm gonna remove any that might have ran off. Make sure it's not wonky. I think what I love about the Batman Returns movie, the one with Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman, not only the long, dangerous claws that she had on, but I love how eerie that movie is, yet so fairy tale esque at the same time. Let's go ahead and bake this. I was reading yesterday something about Tim Burton that he was never a fan of Batman or comic books in general, but he thought the first movie was okay, but he really went all out with the second one, which I really like. And the, the setting in snow, and it was filmed in London. I mean, it's such a beautiful, scary movie. I gotta share my own video too. There we go. Good age to be. There we go. She is done baking. And the filing that we have to do is super minimal as well, too. So I'm going to take my regular file. I'm going to file the sides. going to make them nice and sharp and straight. Just like that. If you have a little gel that ran over on the underside, you can take a drill to it. Or you can pet it out prior to curing. I'm not going to worry about it too much today because we're going to pop these nails off anyway after we're done. I love Danny DeVito as a penguin. Wasn't he incredible? I remember as a little kid making my hands like the penguin and being, my name is Oswald Cobblepot and I am a human, not an animal. What do I think about the Avatar movies? Um, gosh, I think they were okay at the time. I think now if you watch it, it's a little dated and the message of it is, you know, about colonialism or... I don't know, I thought it was okay. I don't like movies that try to push an agenda. I want to go to the movies and forget about my problems, not, you know, have it shoved down my throat. I mean, colonialism wasn't, I mean, it was a part of history. Let's move on. Caesar Romero were the best penguins in Joko over the OGs. 
But that the original show also had a very different tone. I do like how cartoony the original show was. And I can't keep up. Have you watched Gotham? I have not watched Gotham. So I'm going in with the first bit, just to really gently begin to blend in the cuticle. She's like, I agree. Movies should be an escape. They're an enjoyment to get away from our everyday issues and problems. I think that's what the new Candyman movie did so bad, because it, the message it was just trying to push was too obvious in the movie, and I think it turned people away. But now, you know, everything, PC culture is so bad. I had a crush on Adam West, and the guy that played Robin was really good looking too. Small little guy. So now I'm going to use the Diamond Manny bit, and just really go in and refine the cuticle area really gently. I'm using the machine at a low speed as well, too. Hi, Sue! Welcome back! She's ready for the snatching. And then wasn't um, there a villain in the OG show that was... Um, gosh, what's that lady's name? The one that sings You Don't Own Me? Don't tell me what to do, and don't tell me what to say. Whatever her name is, wasn't she a villain on the show too? On the OG show? Dust now. Oh, well, thank you for joining us tonight. So, I'm going to go in with, of course, you already know the best black gel polish in the world, which is 002. And I'm going to Kind of do a French, but don't worry too much about the smile line because it doesn't really matter because we're going to cover it up in diamonds. Oh, thank you. Let's go ahead and bake it. 30 seconds. Did I hit it? No, thank God. Joan Collins. No, it wasn't her. It was like like a baby version of Catwoman that was played by the lady that sang gumdrops and sunshine and lollipops and rainbows and it wasn't played by Joan Collins. A giveaway! We're not doing a giveaway today! Oh. What do you mean by OG? Original! I'm loving the length, fourth strippers, it's shared, original gang I think, six, the nails are ready for the reef. These nails are ready for the dominatrix fantasy. That's my new side job now, I'm gonna be a dominatrix with these phalanges. <laughs> and we're gonna go in with, of course, one coat of velvet. over the entire nail because we're gonna do a chrome design okay I know everyone's probably going like velvet chrome what witchcraft is this what brewery can I wanna put we're doing a giveaway today I'm sorry did I say that we're gonna do a giveaway today
Beautiful. Let it self level out. I heard it on the wind. The buffalo said. No, we're not doing a giveaway today because I don't have a model to do a giveaway. Because I can't pick the winners. Because if I pick somebody, people are going to think I'm biased. That's okay. So now I'm going to bake this for one whole minute. I want to make sure that this coat of velvet is completely dry before we start working on our design, okay? And while that's baking, I'm going to look up that character from the OG Batman series. Let's see. Leslie Gore was her name. That's the name of the singer. Leslie Gore. And her name was Pussycat. There you go. That's who the like baby cat woman was. It was Leslie Gore as Pussycat. See, there we go. I found it. Man, what a nose she had. I wish my nose looked like that. No, I need to place it Velvet gel is incredible. The nails are the fantasy. Black is the new white. You can't go wrong with a black nail. It's so chic. We want to make sure this layer is completely dry because of the design we're going to be doing, okay? And I'm going to walk it step by step so that way we all know what we're doing and we're all on the same page. So please pay attention. So here on my little tray, I'm going to take shiny gel, which is great for rhinestone application. I mean, uh, chrome application, sorry. So one drop. And then to make it a little bit thicker, I'm going to add one drop of Dom Top. Just to make it thicker. And then with my little nail art brush, we're gonna mix it together. And for the design, there is no right or wrong. There's no rhyme or reason. So. Just have fun and literally draw a whole bunch of blobs on the nail. You guys going? Where are you going? I thought you guys were gonna go to Christina's and go party. Go shake it like a salt shaker. Tomorrow's ladies night at Bojangles. For a paisa? You gonna get you a paisa? A house. Okay. Let's go ahead and bake this for 30 seconds. Remember, when you're going to apply chromes, don't over cure your shiny gel because the longer you cure it, the harder it will be for the chrome to adhere to, okay? Your black is the best. Hey, Max, I finally finished the desk to do nail stuff with and wanted to share it with the pink army. How can I do this? Um, post it on Instagram and tag me in it, and I'll share it. Uh-oh, better charge that phone, Sue. It's so elegant. Elegant Catwoman stripper. Your hand is out of frame. Sorry about that. i love to see you do a plaid tartan stiletto design. I've probably done one already. I have so many. Ojos locos before four jangles. Gotta get that drink in, so we're gonna take our press chrome in mayor silver, and I'm just gonna use my fingers, and go in and rub-a-dub-dub.
and then take a nail care wipe and very gently brush off any excess crumb okay and then with the same little mixture of shiny gel I'm gonna go over where I put the chrome to seal it in okay Bonjour Canada! Nice little dab. That's why I tend to do them bigger, the, the dot design, the dots, the dipping dots, because that way I don't have to go in and do like every single little one. Sorry, I was out of frame. Thank you. Along the smile line. You don't know me. Na, 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 na. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to say. And if I grew up with you, don't put me on display. Beautiful. Let's let that self level out. Man, I am old singing that song. The other day I was playing these boots were made for walking, and my mom's like, Why are you listening to music from like my godmother because it's her older sister i was like i like this song let's go ahead and bake this for one minute let me know in the comments below if you like that song these boots were made for walking and one of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you i could see jojo in some some thigh high boots singing that song it is a great song You know she's still alive as well. So it's really important to cure that layer of velvet for at least one minute inside one of our lamps to make sure it is fully cured. If you cure it for a little bit less, it might um, transfer chrome, which we don't want unless we want it in that area, okay? So then after the hand comes out of the lamp, I'm gonna saturate a nail care wipe with acetone and I'm just going to wipe off any excess chrome so that way I have a really clean finish. Wow, look at that. Isn't that stunning? I don't know if the camera can pick it up and do it justice. So now let's take some cotton candy cuticle oil and we're going to apply it and hydrate our phalanges and keep them nice and moist. And you can take a maxi wet wipe just to remove the dust and blend it in so that way it stays nice and clean. Oh, thank you. And there we have it, my loves. What do you think? Let's give you a little pose. Oh gosh, you guys, I wore, I chose the wrong day to wear a sweater too because it is hot as Hades today. Lord have mercy, it's like 90 degrees. some of the overhead so that way we can get some better lighting maybe very dominatrix catwoman inspired oh 
Oh my gosh, I am jealous. 20 degrees. Oh, thank you. Hi from Newcastle, Australia. The A Pinks are on sale here in the US. They're 30% off. No promo code needed. So when you add the A Pinks to your order, you'll get 30% off your entire purchase of A Pinks. Beautiful, thank you. Very much serving the dominatrix fantasy with this phalange. This bloody camera will focus. Look at how cool that it looks like I literally dip, dripped my hands in liquid chrome. And this design is so easy to do and easy to replicate. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do with it. Especially because we have so many different chromes available here at InnoCouture.com. From the Aurora candy to the regular solid chrome colors. And you guys, I think that's our money shop. What do you think? Well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. What can I say? I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and don't forget to check out the 10XL Stiletto and all the incredible products that we have here at EnoCouture.com. And I will see you guys in the next live demo. Bye, everybody.